uh, seeing the hour was upon us, I'd like to call the Board of Health um, to order for the February 25th, 2019 meeting. Uh, I believe we, I heard earlier we are being taped by RCTV tonight. Um, first um, thing, in, uh, if there's anyone to the public, and Gina, I'm sure you're just here to listen in, but um, since we have it on here, I want to make sure I give you the opportunity to speak if you so wanted to. But we do have the pesticide regulation we'll be discussing later if you want to wait till then. Whatever you'd like to do. I'll wait. All right. Kevin, I, I just wanted to say a quick thing in, in public health, which was about the email that I sent out. Okay. Um, well, that's good. I wanted to bring that up, so yes. Oh, okay. Well, then bring it up when you're... Well, no, I was just going to bring it up in the chair report, because um, yeah. I saw that we are on your agenda, or, or I should say we're not on your agenda tomorrow night, even though you're going to be discussing something in regards to the Board of Health, so I was hoping to get more you know, clarification from you. I think confusion about that. Okay. Um, with, with about the pesticide uh, re uh, regulations. My understanding from the town manager was that you were not going to be ready uh, for tomorrow night. So it seems like some items got crossed. Yeah, I mean, we, we could have been, but I was talking more about you, you had inspections and reports? Yeah, well, that's the other issue, but that's, okay. why, that's why the pesticide regulations aren't, aren't, aren't up on the docket for tomorrow night because uh, the town manager felt that. Um, right. So, so um, the town manager felt that we may not be able to get this in front because uh, we're working on it tonight. The town manager didn't wasn't sure if town council could look at it tomorrow yeah. to make an order ready ready available for them tomorrow night. Okay. Um, okay so I we, we did get that right then. Yes, you did get that okay, right. Yes. Okay. So um, I just wanted to share a concern um, with the board. Um, about um, some data on uh, fines issued by the uh, the health division, human health services, uh, public health services. Sorry. So I was looking at the data um, that came out between on fines between 2009 and 2016, and each year there was an average about 35 fines issued for violation of health regulations. So, um, and I, and that seems to be about what I recall when I was on, on the board. And the majority of the fines are issued to food establishments for violation of the food code. Um, and, but for the last two years, uh, no, no food, and food code violations have been, been issued. So, so this discrepancy uh, uh, caught my eye and, and gave me a, a cause for some concern. So I noted the concern of the select board on January 9th. Um, things got busy. Um, and then a few weeks ago, I sent uh, you, the, your chair an email on the topic, and uh, Kevin replied that in an effort to be more business friendly, uh, you described a change in the inspection process, inspection fine, uh, education. Well, process. a philosophy difference from the, the previous health, right. health inspector. Right. Yeah, so health agent, yeah. It turns out that, um, you know, I, I know, I was, I was on the board during many different uh, health agents um, sure. uh, and the, the the approach is the same that you describe in in your email and um, so so I didn't really didn't help me understand the, why there is this discrepancy between the last two years and the previous eight years um, so that's that's all I wanted to say so why are we looking into this in the first place? Um, because I noticed that there's a big drop. Well, there have no fines have been issued to food establishments for the last two years, whereas previous years we always had fines. And, and it worked just as you said. The, the health inspectors would go in, inspect the restaurant if they found uh, a violation, um, especially if it was critical. They would note it down. They would educate, just like the process you described here. Um, so not whack them right away, but you know, educate them on the on why that needs to be changed. Then uh, they they go back and reinspect. And some of the times they had fixed the fixed the violations. Um, and 
but invariably, uh, sometimes they, they did not. You know, because yeah, but I, what I mean by is, what's your real concern? Because I know I know Lars and up there working with these folks so, on a basis. So yeah, I'm trying yeah. to, I'm trying to figure yeah. out what your real concern is yeah. with it. So the the my concern is that in you know since 2009, restaurants had a uh, didn't have a hundred percent correction rate on the on on the violation and it was critical enough they would issue a fine twenty five fifty dollars something like that not that big um, and then you know that's when the Board of Health can start that we get a report on that and that's when the Board of Health so we can start ratcheting it up the, the um, making sure that they come back into compliance so it just strikes me as um, it's hard for me to comprehend that they would go from having a not a hundred percent compliance rate after the first inspection on the reinspection to having a hundred percent compliance rate uh, on the second inspection in the last two years. Okay, um, Laura. Can you um, describe your um, inspections, how they've been going, what, what's been going on with them? Um, it just seems like maybe you're, you're getting people to be more compliant. Yeah, I've had no problems. We've asked them to correct issues. They've corrected them within the 10 days that they're allotted under the food code. And uh, I believe actually it wasn't just the last two years there were zeros, it was four years had um, no, no fines. If you look up, I think it was like 2012 perhaps. Is that correct, Andy? No, there, there were one other two. Year. There's four in total that have zeros. No, there's there's three in total that have zeros. Um, in that section, in that time period, there's also a gap, a little bit of a gap because there was the massive fines that were issued to macaroni grill that weren't included in that. I don't know why I, I asked. I think it was um, it went, must have gone through a different legal system, but yeah, I have in uh, 2009. Uh, I think it was this is correct. There were 24 in 2010. There were 27. 2011. There were. Did you have this where? information? 44. Okay. Where, where, where did this? Yeah, where did this information is a public from? request. And it's um, this is a, a public. Uh, it's public, public records. Public records. But, um, um, but it's now in the select board packet. Yeah. It was requested by MEV or a public request. Right. Okay. Is there a place I could easily Google? Yes, you can. <laughs> if you go to the town's website. Yep, there. And then you go to... Would you like me to pull it up on the screen? Sure. Okay, and, okay sure. <laughs> and you can go to the date. This is just general help. If you go to the yep. town's website, yep. um, which I'm, I'm going to do now, um, you should go to, there's a calendar, there should be a calendar um, yep. there, and you should click on the, the Board of Health, uh, or I'm sorry, the Board of Health, the select board, um, there should be a select board meeting listed there. Oh, I think I'm on the Board of Health. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, actually, just click on 26. Yeah, tomorrow night. Oh, okay. And then... Oh, I see. It's in their agenda. I've got it under... So this is the agenda for tomorrow night. This is, again, we're talking about the select board. And there's the health regulation fines, 2015 to 2018. There's going to be a discussion at 7.30. Right. Um, and so, um, so if you double click on so, that, yeah. So if you want me to <laughs> go through the fact, like the reason this started in the first place, it was just that I had, I had heard at a select board meeting in December that there had been no real violations worth bringing to the board's attention in the last year. And um, I had in trying to learn about this position, I had read a lot of previous years worth of meeting minutes and it struck me as odd, mm -hmm. but I wasn't, I mean, I didn't really know. 
So that's why I put in the records request. For, well, basically, I called the town clerk and I said, do you have a record of fines? And she said, yes, I can do that easily. And, um, and so I requested that, and that's when I saw that there were, the last two years had no fines. Um, and what was the other year, or two? There, uh, 2017, 2018, and I think 2012 or 2013, 12, 2012. That was nine. I thought that was four. Scrolling down. Um, There's Macaroni Grill. It's right there. Yeah, yeah it's, that's not the big, I don't think it's the big one. I think so, you have to add them together to get the big total. Oh, ah. I think the big total is like $26,000, so I don't think, I think these are all $25. I think it went through a different mechanism somehow. Um, but, um, so, so then I spent some time, that happened, I think I got those results right after the December meeting, um, and I spent some time thinking about whether this actually told me anything, um, because, yeah, I think you can get differences between health agents and, and how they operate. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, and it seems like a lot of debt. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then I basically, I, I basically, real, you know, was thinking the most important things are making sure that in inspections are happening on schedule and then that um, critical violations are being corrected. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's when I wanted to see sort of whether there had been any change, um, you know, and either how people were calling things or, or just any noticeable change. So I asked for um, the last three years worth of inspection data, meaning I wanted to know um, what types of, what violations were found um, and were they corrected um, and were any of them repeat violations. Um, I could not get that because it's a very, as it, all of our stuff is, as it turns out, paper hard copy. So that's, um, you know, three years worth of paper. <laughs> it's a lot of paper for somebody to go through. Um, so, you know, I think personally, I think really what this sort of comes down to is, um, You know, because I had these questions that might not, might not be anything. But um, I think we should focus on finding a way to have a document that is easy to see. You know, it's easy to keep track of things and know what we're what we're finding um, over time. Something that would be easy for public to request if they wanted to request it. Um, something electronic, you know. Well, what's the system that we have in place right now, Laura, for tra tracking these? The tickets? Yeah. That's it, Laura, yeah. All tickets go through, um... Go through the tickets, yeah. yeah. Okay. And so they have sort of an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, she has that. that yeah, matches. basically that. And then do we track the sort of instances where a violation has been brought to our attention and we take the educational approach? Do we track that, or we only are tracking funds? So we have the hard copy inspection reports. Okay. And you had started a, an electronic spreadsheet um, that I think could be useful, um, but I think just doesn't have the amount of data that I personally would like to see in it. But, uh, so. I, I had actually, I had been emailing Laura um, over the last few days, I, I guess, um, to ask her questions about that. So it's the one below this. This one? This one. Um, and to ask her questions about it, yeah. which she clarified. Um, and then she asked if 
we if there was something else I wanted in it and then um, and said that she had she changed it sometimes uh, a number of times for um, to suit board the board's requests and I figured it would be better if we were all oh here God, I'm so sorry <laughs> I figured it would be better if we were all here to discuss yeah. what we would like to see in that Okay, so I, I know in the past things that we've talked about in regards to this, um, what would worry me about something like this is that I know this is a public records request, which is a little bit different. Um, but typically we try not to broadcast, and we, we, we made this decision as a board, not to broadcast the fines of businesses because we can't verify that all of them are, are actually factual fines, uh, factual complaints, excuse me. Uh, so is this fines or is this complaints? Is it, she also she also said put in another public request. I'd, I'd, I'd be worried about complaints. Reports. The inspection reports. I was she wanted I wanted it based reports. on the inspection reports. And, and is that based off of a complaint that you receive, or how, or is that just you going out doing your regular inspections? Either she wanted what I was. Yeah, I guess maybe. I, I just want to make sure we're not putting probably, out. You know what I mean? I don't want to no, make sure no, we're putting in the I public. I probably wasn't clear about that. And, now that you say that, because <laughs> these, you know, because the, the, really the, the what, erosion yeah, complaint could, um, could destroy a business in town. Are not what I'm okay. interested in. I'm interested I'd be very in routine and okay, okay, which is different. Okay, um, and I was probably not clear okay. about that, but yes, routine inspections. So, okay, um, so this is looking back a ten-year look. No, this no, is. Just, this is yeah, sorry. Ahead, no. no, it's yours. No. <laughs> that was like my Christmas card that I was like kind of half working on. Yeah, and yeah. I dropped the wall on, and you were like, hey, can I have it? I'm like, oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'm, you're the first person to come in and even take a stab at doing an electronic system, and I am very happy, yeah. you know. You know, I, I think that's the right way to go. I, I think I just want it expanded in terms of the information that is on it. What information would you like to see on that? So I think there are a couple ways we could go. Um, so I think ideally I would <laughs> like to, to have um, all the violations found listed and then so so um, business address date of inspection um fine uh, not fine the violation maybe actually separate the violations into the critical and the other because mm -hmm. they just shouldn't really have equal weights i would say um, and then an annotation as to whether it's a, the repeat violations or not. If a follow-up inspection is required, the follow-up inspection date and whether a thing were corrected or not. What's the end goal? Like, I always start at the end and work backwards, so, like, what's the... The easiest way to solve a problem. What would what would this help you see, or like over time, what would you imagine like the threads or the stories that you would be able to see, kind of from the database? Because I'm thinking those that would help inform like what variables we're capturing in the database. Um, I mean, I think it just it well, it certainly gives the board. Uh, more information to so that something? like to take action or just like to have knowledge like with you know what I mean well I mean the <laughs> hope is that we wouldn't be taking action unless yeah. Laura was bringing us something yeah. anyway yeah. Um, but I think this is just a matter of transparency The overall goal, goal if, I, if I may, of, of, of the board is to protect public health and it's under a state law that you were required to do this. Um, and and so um, to, to, it's, it's just a way of, of you having the information uh, necessary to 
so if this state comes to you and you can say yes look at look at what we've been doing and here's the information that we can give you um, to show them that you're enforcing um, health regulations primarily the food food code um, ones which yeah which I think is probably why Laura started doing the, the database yeah. in the first place yeah. Yeah. just to have a document just like, like that and, and when which is when cool. we were on the board we would get um, this information would be re reported to us by the, um, by the health agent and um, the number of uh, inspections and what repeat fines were found. Um, often the inspector came to the meeting to describe uh, what the what the violations were, so that we uh, we felt comfortable being able to say to the, to anyone that yeah we're, we're, they're looking out for these things when they find problems they get them fixed um, that would involve uh, because they weren't always 100% um, compliant the second round that would that fines would be issued and um, sorry um, and and so if you um, so that's your way of knowing that, that you're you're meeting state law. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's one way. You know, I mean, I know Laura's been reporting to us in her health agent reports in regards to um, what fines, if anything, or what inspections that she's gone on. But I, you know, where I tend to disagree with you a little bit, there's I don't know that I do want the public to know every single inspection and fine if something was taken care of. And it's not, I think, yes, yeah. Laura's model, I think a little bit, uh, in philosophy, might be a little bit better, where it's a little bit more um, buy-in from the local businesses. The end game is public health. If she's out there educating these businesses, rather than just throwing fines at them or fining them frequently after she's ed educating them, going out and re-educating them, I think that's a better business model in general for public health. I, I mean, I think education is very important. Um, I. I I just th I think there can there can be both. I don't think it can be. I just don't want to get bogged down in, in the details to the point where she's not doing her job. You know, if that's right. that, you know when I saw all that all I mean, that data come across, that was the first thing that I thought. Geez, yeah. there's a lot of data to to, to to get and make available. The, the, so, so just to go back to the thing that struck me is that if there was a critical violation found in the past. Um, and they reinspected, and it hadn't been fixed. Like for instance, the 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 the, the, the there were raw meat stored next to each other, like fish and bacon, or people were serving, uh, preparing food without gloves. Things that really could cause, uh, you know, bacterial infections, for food poisoning. Mm -hmm. um, that if they went back the second time, uh, and and it hadn't been corrected. Then, then they were issued a fine to, to sort of get, get their attention a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And if, what I'm hearing from Laura is that um, the, when she goes back the second, second time, everything's fixed. And um, I, I just find, find it. Yeah. Can I ask you? Well, I would, I would say that's, a, I'd say that's a testament to Laura doing her job the first time. Well, again, I think we're micromanaging this a, a little bit, and, and I have to say, um, publicly, Laura has had a rough go of town coming into this town. And, and this this seems like this is going down a path, Andy, that I'm, 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 I'm not, no. I, I think yeah. may not be appropriate, especially coming from a select board member as well. So I, I worry about that. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and as you full well know, I mean, you sat I in this chair in this chair at all. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, would, I was the one who went down this path. And so you brought it. No, I saw, I saw, I saw the public, the public I saw, I see the public records requests and, and then the information came up and, and it, it caught my eye. And I think that, um, we, we mean you, you see public records requests, what do you mean? So, so uh, I, I don't I remember asked, ever getting, seeing that when I was on board. Yeah, you have to <laughs> ask, you know, you know, you have to call the, uh, town clerk's office, yeah, and they'll, and they'll okay. consider there any public records request chain to the Board of Health and um, 
then they then she'll send them to you. Okay. But but no, I'm not. This is not. I'm not. Um, I don't want to appear to be creating a, a, a lynch mob by any any means. Any uh, means uh, or, I think that's a little bit of a strong word, but I just I, I, I feel like it's it's a little bit against um, our health agent, who who obviously we is our representative. Well, um, I really haven't obligation if I see something like this that I that that may mean maybe we need to tweak the uh, I mean this philosophy um, I'll be honest I, f I find worrisome um, and but but I, I don't want to tell you guys what to do um, I, I yeah I was hoping that maybe you take a look at it and say, well, you know, have, have the board have more information, and stuff like that. So I, I would say if we want to look at this as a board, it's a great idea. Having, having data put down that we can actually see and quantify is great. The process seems to have come that it's we backed into it rather than just going straight at it. So I think in the future, I think the better thing to do is, is if any of us have an idea, Coming from the selectman as well too, mm -hmm. we should we should put it on an agenda item. We should talk about it mm -hmm. as a board. This is mm -hmm. you know, um, this is something I do want to move on from because I don't want to bog us down all night. Yeah. Um, but you know, I, I feel like that's a more appropriate avenue to to get to talk about it, where you have it on the meeting for tomorrow night to talk about this, and you haven't invited the board of health there. Doesn't seem to be a, a good avenue to to you know have a good discussion between the two boards about. You know, maybe there's a better, better way to do this mousetrap. Yeah, I mean, I, I struggle with that, Kevin. And tomorrow night, I'll just give the liaison report because you guys have, have discussed it. We, we won't go into into the. There's no need to go into the details if you guys are picking this up. But um, I struggle with that because I didn't want to come here tonight and 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 have my concerns being perceived as a, a criticism or, or trying to tell you guys what to do. Um, but then if I brought it up at a select board meeting without uh, telling you guys first, that seemed unfair as well. So, um, I, yeah, so I decided on this course of action and um, which is fine. Just call me. And we'll put it on the agenda item. Yeah. I don't mind talking about anything. Great. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's appropriate. Absolutely. We're here to do public health. That's that's the first and foremost. So everything else is secondary to that. Um, but I just, you know, I, I think we, we should have the opportunity to have it on as a agenda item. I think the public should, ha you know, have that before that opportunity as well. I, right. I agree. Yeah. Oh, uh, the, the the other thing I was going to say. It's also difficult. Uh, from my perspective, two two entities enforce the 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 food code and the health regulations. One is the town inspectors go out and enforce it, um, but you are all also uh, uh, charged with enforcing them. So you know, do I go at it from the towns? You know, the town manager, or assistant. You know, Gene and go at it from that way as, as a select board member, is that the more appropriate way or is it more appropriate up to bring it up to the Board of Health? Because there's so this is sort of I would, sort of I would say bring it here. I don't think you're going to yeah. you know, find an unwelcome reception Great. at this board if you want to bring things to the board. Great. I really don't hear you. Okay. Excellent. Can I ask a question? Sure. Go right ahead. Yeah, just do, just, if you, you know, don't mind, Gina, just, 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 just um, state your name and address if you don't Gina mind. Gina Snyder, Jane Terrace. I have found it immensely helpful in other towns when I'm out to see the grade yeah, and decide yeah. whether you want to go into a restaurant or not. When you don't know anything about the restaurant, you see they got an A from the Board of Health. Yeah. You, you, you're happy to go in and you know you don't okay. feel like you're taking your chances. Not that many has a ton No, but what towns are those in? Because I've, I've, I've never seen that before. Popular. Well, I've seen it in I mean, uh, North End in Boston, yeah, but okay. I don't think they're still it doing it. New, New York, York City, City, I was like, New this New is great. It. I didn't know where to go. And I'm like, oh, B, I don't think that's a good for an A. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it made a difference. At these that's, that's interesting. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. before. Oh. And the other thing I wanted to ask about was of all the grease traps. Um, were you... Re were you finding that they weren't cleaning out the grease traps? No. Nope. Were you there to inspect it being pumped and making sure it was pumped properly? Neither. Oh, then why? Why is all the grease traps? 
stuff here. My Christmas card, keeping track of it. Oh, so you get a report when they pump it? Nope. I was just keeping track of it. When you say okay, keep, we're just you, keeping track of what from, company does what location, so that we know that who's who's doing them. Oh, okay. Do you have a date? No. Well, there's a date here. The date is the. That's not the date. The, goes with inspection. the date's the oh, date. Oh, I see. You inspected and said, oh, oh John Company Rain yeah. is the one who's doing it. Because I, I would be very concerned at what MWRA's policies are for somebody who doesn't have a grease trap and needs one. Because that, that's a big issue with sewers. And then you're, now you're going over that's into. Deep here. That's, right? a different, that's a different, different yeah. department. Oh, but um, it's public health all right. Mm -hmm. I know we get sewer backups here, and I, you know, I don't know what the causes are, but I know we get them. But, so this document that you, is there two documents on here? Is there one that you, Laura, were, were starting yeah. to just categorize that's, what's going on in the past? Yeah. Okay. And the ones that she's referring to that say NA are not applicable are convenience stores, places that don't have a grease trap nor need one. It's over on the right hand side of the Okay. Page, but <laughs> See, no grease trap. Okay. And then Pizza World needs one. They have one now. <laughs> okay, well, I think we've allotted a lot of time here <laughs> tonight, so unless anyone has any further questions, comments, I would like to move on. Does this just mean we bring this up as an agenda item next meeting? Is that what we decided? Um, we can certainly decide to put it on as a agenda item to figure out how we want to have a document moving forward. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have any problem with having that discussion. Yeah, I mean, we can put it in a future agenda item, if not the next meeting, the meeting after, whatever whatever our schedule. Usually it's not too jam-packed. And then we finish all this tonight. That sounds good. Um, okay, um, so I really don't have a chair report, so we can um, just talk in regards to uh, health agent report. Now I feel like I shouldn't bother because the way we had discussed to do the health agent report was to say how many locations there were and how many were done during the month. But Well, I know that's something. Uh, yeah, but that, yeah, I mean, that's, um, I think we can still have it. I know that's something that we've talked about in the past, um, but it seems like the board wants to discuss a little bit more in regards to how we want to do that in the future. So for all means, it's it's appropriate tonight. So out of 131 locations, 12 were done last month. Reinspection complaints, animal inspections and dumpsters, 156. No new flu shots were administered. There are 16 new cases of flu in Reading and there's nothing in Maven. Okay. Oh, um, I did want to say something about the flu because uh, Thor had mentioned at the last meeting that it would have been useful to know if people who had been vaccinated were getting the flu. I think on the um, Mass DPH website, it says that they don't have any characterized, all of the characterized flu cases have, are covered by the current vaccine. All the ones that have been characterized. So that, that doesn't suggests, answer the question of if the person got the flu, if they got the flu shot. But it, it just suggests that the vaccine is uh, irrelevant and a, and a good one this year. That's what I would say. It's a difficult state response. <laughs> sorry. Really? <laughs> yeah. So it's well, there was one year where it was really bad, <laughs> yeah. where like we were, you know. We were getting things that definitely were not covered by the... Sure, sure. It's, it's interesting, according to my pediatrician, because my, my daughter was one of those cases, I don't know if I actually must have been reported. I, I'd assume that it was a writing pediatrician. Um, she said she's seen cases where the quick swab is negative for the flu, but all the symptoms are there. Yeah. And there's a lot of that going around yeah. this year. So whether what yeah. you're saying is, is relevant, yeah. it, it could be, yeah. but it's still there's there's still something out there that's <laughs> that's making that's mimicking it in, in the least anyway. Um, okay, Laura, you said you had how many how many inspections out of what? Twelve out of one thirty one. Twelve out of one thirty one. Twelve out of one thirty one. Is that and then what was the that, I was gonna say, is that typical? It all depends on how long the inspection takes, what inspections were done. You got six months to do them, so. Okay. 
And is that 131 total? Yes. Or if we do two? 131 total. In a six it? month. Oh, for six months. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me do them all again. Yeah. So if you divide 131 by 12, it comes up to approximately 11. So technically we're ahead of the game in January. Okay. Good. Oh, so Great. it's not for six months. For six months. All, all 131 need to be done in six months. Okay. So, so she, 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 it's, you, you kind of just keep knocking it out each month till so you get to So we're one ahead of schedule. Yeah. Well, I was going to do 131 by this. No. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah, 21 or 22. Okay. Okay. Any other comments, questions? Oh, I wasn't clear what the 156 was the re-inspections is that total that we Our inspections to complaints animal inspections dumpsters 156 Next item we have is a discussion on the pesticide regulation of tree lawn. Uh, Emmy, thank you for putting that together. I, I did review it. I figured the easiest thing for us all to do tonight is to just pop it up on the screen. And, and if anyone has any comments, modifications, whatever it might be, we can discuss them and change it live so we have something we can um, vote on finalized tonight. So we can get to the town council and get on one of the next agenda items when you have time. Um, I know you, I know the select board missed a uh, meeting yeah, due to the yeah, snow, so I'm well. sure you're backed up. Yeah, <clears throat> we'll get you on. Yeah, I'm confident you will. All right. So the only thing we were actually discussing from the last time was in regards to uh, fines and complaints. Correct. And I think that's where you made some alterations. I think they're the only alterations were on the, under the complaint section. Um, okay, right. That's why maybe that red fine to me when I read it. Okay. So you had changed a couple of words. Yeah, in A and then added B. Yep. Or put in. And then re, yeah. re. And then just relettered. Yep. The and then relettered them. Correct. All right. Um, so uh, I know uh, I know where you're going with this. It read a little Is it the property different to me. Thing? No, it's just where it, where it's placed. Right. I had an issue with what it seems like it A would flow into B. In other words, B is the causation of A, which is I know where we're going with. In other words, when a complaint comes in, our first response we want from um, the health aid is to issue a regulation to the homeowner telling them that there's been a complaint lodged against you on uh, the new pesticide regulations. Here are these regulations. Yeah. They're new. They've just been put into place. So you know in the future going forward, there can be fines associated um, uh, with not complying with the regulation, right? So I, w I wanted to just kind of maybe alter a little because it's seen the way it reads. Um, Section 7 complaints. Mm -hmm. Part A, the Department of Health Agent shall investigate upon written complaints received about any practices or acts that may violate any provisions of these regulations. And it goes on to say, B, the Department of Health Agent shall issue a copy of this regulation to the property owner. Now, the only issue I have is if you read right down through the document to Section 8, which is the violations and penalties yeah. under Paragraph B, it goes right on to say, um, a $50 first offense and a $100 second offense and subsequent offenses, essentially. So it doesn't seem like the two go hand in hand. In other words, we still have it written as we send the document, but a first offense is actually a finable one, which I know we didn't want to have. I think what right? we're saying is a first offense is uh, something right. beyond... It's, it's funny because it if I think if you get into maybe the legalese of it, yeah. it it's written correctly in other words it, but it, I feel like it also leaves yeah. up for interpretation to a degree yeah. so I don't know what the best course of action is I just want to make sure that we have it clear that um, the first complaint that is lodged is what we talked about that you know educating them on the new regulation and then subsequent offenses are going to be you know 50 100 and 100 from that point forward okay. 
So I think it's just a, maybe a clearer way to to get your thoughts on yeah, that. Yeah, maybe. Can I did like how simple you kept it. That was yeah, it's just <laughs> <a> clarify <laughs> eight B somehow. Can you speak up a little? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm not hearing you. Eight B, you said. I'm wondering if we can clarify eight B somehow. I mean, is it redundant to say that? <laughs> For a complaint, you receive a copy of the relations, and for your first violation, you also receive a copy of the violation. Is that what a little bit? I know. I think Emmy, you brought up last time where you know where maybe we had the comp we needed to have it in the complaints rather than the fines um, section where we're trying to uh, figure this out. But it, I, I think it's an easy way for us to, to do so. I think just maybe rewording it or adding in some some language. So the person would have already received a complaint. Uh, so a complaint is filed, the homeowner receives the, a copy of the regulations, an investigation ensues, and at that point, say they're found in violation. And then you're saying at that point, they should receive another copy of the regulations or sort of a first pass, or should we say yeah, that's a good point. they get the fine then? Well, uh, no. What I want to see, what, what, I, what we talked about last time, was that the, they get the regulation, right? So it's essentially it's an educational yep. uh, branch would be. It's technically not an offense, right? And right. I think that's where we were having trouble last time, and where I just want to make sure that we have a clear in here yep. for future health agents and board to understand that the first, upon first um, complaint, that the procedure is issued them the regulation, telling them. What, about the new regulation, um, you know, we can have an info packet on all that tells it that gives you all the uh, pesticides that are um, not in compliance and those that can be in compliance. You know, it could be a very good educational piece, but that's the first thing that we do upon a written complaint. And then I think what what a thing goes into is it starts to trigger down here somewhere if the health agent finds investigation is warranted. In other words, another complaint. Now, written complaint comes in, same property, second complaint. So now, you know, paragraph, right. new paragraph D would kind of be triggered and the health agent now needs to find if an investigation is warranted on that one. And then that's where, you know, if it's warranted and, and it, uh, it's fineable, that's when you get into fine. So that would technically be on the second written complaint to the same property, right? Well, I don't want to, yeah, I see where you're going with that. And I, what I sort of like about the previous language is that we really left it up to the health agent about, you know, investigating that violation and how best to determine whether or not a violation had occurred. And only in those instances where we could prove that a violation had occurred would we consider issuing any fines. So I want to be clear about, I mean, I think you bring up a really good point, the, the sequence of events when a complaint is filed versus the sequence of events when a violation is filed. So, right. or and I just want to, I want to make sure that's clear. Right. So, you know, a lot of times um, with these documents, they can be, you can, you can read them different ways. It's always good to just spell out. Yeah. And so maybe it's putting in where on Section 8, Paragraph B, as it reads, any person who violates any provision of this pest management regulation, um, comma, or um, comma, that's, that's, we'll leave that up to town council. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> if a fine is deemed to be applicable at the time, the first fineable offense is a $50, second and subsequent are 100 Right, So that would lead it to believe that it's only, um, it's only applicable if we've gone to paragraph B up here and, and actually educated them on the new regulation first upon that first written request. Okay. Um, paragraph B could actually, and section seven could actually read, and upon written, that first written complaint, the Department of Health agent shall issue a copy of this regulation to the property owner. Mm -hmm. so I just yeah. want to make sure that we're, we're making it very easy moving forward for boards and, and health agents and everybody to understand how it's going to be, how the complaint first violation is going to be looked at. That's all. Yes, Jean. One idea is to make this really simple and just talk about the enforcement and not break it up into two different sections of complaints and violations. Oh, I see where you're going with that. Combine the sections. And just have an enforcement process. Yeah. And stepwise. Yes. Yeah. We'll do this. We'll do that. That would be simple. 
but I don't know if that's too much of a change. Well, I mean, we're here tonight. It's not too much of a change, but I mean, most it'd be of the things a new discussion. <laughs> I mean, we could also ch we could also do what you suggested, which is add in upon first written complaint somewhere in seven B, and then in seven C, um, upon subsequent written complaint, or you know, split up sort of. Maybe do A and B as. Are you are you seven or eight? Sorry, seven. Okay, Section sorry. seven. If yep. we combine A and B, and um, into just basically add B to A, B to A, <laughs> um, and then insert. Yeah, um, it almost felt it first. almost felt like A needed like colons at the end right. of it, right? And then it runs into B, and yeah. this is kind of. So if how you do it. Maybe if we combined them and say upon first written complaint or upon. Are you saying, uh, are you still in A, the department? Yeah. yeah. Section 7, yeah. paragraph A. And if we com Talking about combining these to, right. which, which you can, Into one. you can effectively do that as well. And then basically repeat it um, upon subsequent written complaints. All right, so you know what I'm. You know I, what I do. What I'm saying, but I don't know if that makes it too complicated. Well, yeah. no, because in one we're talking about complaints and how it's handled. So, and the second is talking about fines, right? So we can leave the first and second offense as is, so long as we mm -hmm. lay out what the first mm -hmm. thing to do when a complaint is lodged. Yeah. So I think what Emily's saying, I think we could we could do this pretty easily. Just say the Department of Health agent shall investigate upon first written complaints received about any practices or acts that may violate any provisions of these regulations that the Department of Health agent shall issue a copy of the regulations to the property owner. Like you said, just kind of combine it, but put add in the word first. But where does, that, does that mean if the health agent receives a second complaint, then, then it would trigger... Well, then it, it, would trigger it triggers the, um, D. That if the health agent finds an investigation or warrant... Well, it triggers C and C, then D, C actually. And D, yeah. So a second, I'm a, worried that's not that that's not explicit. Um, how we take action? So then I think we would need to say an A, and then an investigation would be conducted. Um, do you see what I mean? Because if we're just saying only on the first well, you can, complaint, you know what you could do. Then you could go down to C for second and subsequent um, written complaints. Um, the Department of Health agent, if the Department of Health agent finds an investigation is not required, well, actually, no, you wouldn't put it there. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, you, that'd be down in D. <laughs> yeah, like uh, you could put it down in D, where upon second and subsequent complaints, if the health agent finds an investigation is warranted, the health agent shall investigate cool. and take authority uh, to take okay. such action. Yeah. Such yeah. Uh, that action yeah. is a violation of a fine. Yeah, that makes sense. I would say. Um, Mm -hmm. Just to keep it consistent with, we're, we're going to use the word upon. upon. Yeah, just upon second and subsequent complaints. Yeah. To start that sentence off with it. Yep. So we're saying a first written complaint that is actually in violation is not really in violation of these regulations <coughs> because a person is allowed the first pass. Right. Correct. So yeah. that's not in violation. And then, Gene, if you X out yeah. B and combine B into A, so it reads through, remove the period. Yep. Track changes likes to fight. Yeah, <laughs> for that it is probably really does. I think if we do it this way, it can, it can hit what our object, objective was. Yeah. I'll just insert No, I think that's good. All right, they're just stricken all of B2, so when we vote on it, Gene, we know if you're going to have the comment. Okay, into A. Yeah. 
Okay. Even though, it's, even though it doesn't look like. Oh, I see what you said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Got it. That's what we want. Yes. <laughs> and so let's see. That reads: The Department of Health Agent shall investigate upon first fair. written complaints received about any practices or acts that may violate any provisions of these regulations. The Department of Health Agent shall issue a copy of this regulation to the property owner. I think that worked. There we go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Well, then when would C ever happen? I'm still going to keep that just, the margin. Um, yeah. It's so frustrating. Uh, on uh, C happens as soon as the first complaint comes in. C, well, but I think we're saying, I thought we just said that a first violation is not actually a violation. I think that worries me. Um, I think I would rather have a first violation be documented as a violation, but that there are no monetary consequences for that violation. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Is it upon first written complaints or complaint? Oh, complaint. <laughs> And is it the department health agent or the health agent? Health agent. Health agent. Yeah, you can just leave it as a health agent if you want to take some take some words out. Mm -hmm. um, so we're basically saying upon sec second and subsequent complaints and investigation will be undertaken and it's up to the health agent to figure out whether or not. I'm trying to clarify when the health agent investigates and I think what we're saying is it's after a second complaint is when she even considers yeah. whether or not to investigate, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. You think that's what we're saying? The first time the task, the second time. Oh, and Jean, put written in front of, on D, in front of complaints. Sure. Okay. Because that keeps it consistent with what we have up top yeah. as well. <clears throat> and going to take out paragraph A uh, regulations, take the period out in lowercase the, the, and take out department, so, right? So it's just health agent and the red line that you did on paragraph A. I mean, do we want to leave it so vague as <laughs> essentially to. Yeah, right I'm there. not sure what we would do with C, but for D upon yeah. second and subsequent written complaints, the health agent will and then determine make whether or not the, the investigation okay, is lowercase t and take out the <coughs> the period after regulation so it reads all through as one line. And then we'll let the uh, legal team decide if they want to alter that. I want to make sure it reads through as one, one thing. Oh, wait. Um, I feel like that isn't as clear as it having two sentences. Wait, you mean and to have and in there? No, no, just to take out the period and, and do a lowercase t. So it wasn't a, sen a sen the sentence stopper was continuing the sentence along. Any uh, violate any provisions of these regulations, the health agent shall issue a copy. So it's saying what the health agent's going to do upon that. So I think it sometimes reads cleaner when it just goes straight through. Now, but town council may alter that, but I just yeah. want to make sure that our intent is that. This is what's following that. Yeah, but there's not an if and then then. then so, right. I think, I think it's it has two to be two sentences. sentences. But also, now I see that we're saying that health agents should investigate upon first written complaints. So, yeah, it sort of takes us back a little bit. That does. But you could still so determine if, if it may not be an investigation required. Yeah. Investigation is not required. Just, so then we don't need to say she has to investigate, or the health agent. We would just say the health Up, agent will first. document first written complaints and give a copy of this regulation. Yeah. And then upon second sub, or and sub, subsequent written complaints. Do you want the this health up front? Agent. The health agent shall so, show a copy of the regulation. So, say so. the health agent shall document. Could we change <laughs> investigate the document? <laughs> Did oh, we go no. to the kitchen? Could we try maybe upon first written complaints? Um, yes. The health Better. agent shall issue a copy of this regulation to the property owner. 
or upon receipt of first written complaint. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Upon first written complaints received, you want all of this? Yeah, 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 yeah. So just yeah, all that. Keep all of that up to the next before the rest. Yep. Okay. And where am I going? The beginning of the sentence. Before health agent. Before the yep. Upon first written complaints received about any practices or acts that may violate any provision in these regulations. Comma. <laughs> Comma. The, the yeah, health yeah. agent shall investigate or, or shall, shall issue document. Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. Shall document, document the complaint and, and the issue. Yeah, it's so red, is I know. <laughs> I think we'll have to remove the first document thing. Document and issue a cop. Uh, document the thing. Yeah, you can remove the second health agent probably then Jean, because you're not going to need it. You're saying the health agent right there already. <clears throat> the health agent shall document the complaint and issue. And shall issue. Shall issue a copy of this regulation of the property. And then just remove the the. Yeah. the and make it a capital U. Capital U, yep, yeah, there you go. Impressive, huh? I thought, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought you like to pee there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Saving it is the trick. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice. Play and show us your copy. Yeah, I like that. And then, do we want us go to upon second and subsequent written complaints, the health agent will determine whether an investigation is warranted, or do we say the health agent will begin an investigation? Um. Well, we need, I think, the rest of this stuff in C, right? Or is this now B? Oh, yeah, yeah, B. <laughs> You're right, B. Oh, we, all right. Okay, so, so maybe we could always add something to B. Well, yeah, do we want to, though? Because that's say, really... B seems second. to be something that needs to come... Later. Well, no, it, it, it needs to, I think it's fine right where it is because it's saying the health agent finds investigation is not required because of the alleged act of practice is not in violation of these regulations. The health agent shall notify the complaint to enter such findings and the reasons upon which it's based. Yeah, I think we just need to add that upon second and subsequent written complaints to that one, right? I think so. You and want to put it up there? I think, yeah, maybe swap it. I don't know if it'll see, okay. yeah, right? Or, I don't know. Well, the, so the question is, if you look at it that way, do you want, is there an ability for her that she is, does not have to send out the regulation? Or are we saying no matter what, we get a complaint, we send out the regulation? That's what right. it's saying. Oh, we're okay, saying. that's what it's saying, right. That's what we're saying. <laughs> okay. I think that's what we talked about, right? I think it is. So. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's different from... Oh, we do have I know, we've gone over this here, so many right. times. I know. And so yeah, wait. <laughs> you can look through the minutes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I think maybe if we swap, move that upon second and subsequent written complaints up to... Or do we need it in both? Because I feel like... Well... Because one's saying if an investigation is required, and if one's saying investigation is not required. Do we just mark well, them? That's true. This Last repetition. <laughs> yeah. Compelling. Right. Well, no matter what we do, Town Council is going to send it back to us anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll guarantee that. Yeah, you could split it and have that be the heading, and then paragraph A and paragraph, or paragraph little I and paragraph 
That's true. <laughs> underneath the pond, second and second yep. complaint. Could, yeah. 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 These are the possibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Um, so does that, should we that try that? Good. So, so acceptable to try that but, change. Um, we're newbie. <laughs> newbie <laughs> is just upon right. second. And Are you saying add another paragraph? Oh yeah, yeah or you and make that. Yeah, this B and C like number one and number or I two I's um, underneath B. Yeah. So you're saying so we'll have a B which is just says upon second and subsequent written complaints and then the two paragraphs below will so, be indented. Yeah, and put a colon, right? Oh, colon. yeah. You did, yeah, and then change those to I and double I indented. <coughs> And then you could remove the second upon. Now we're trying to do this on people at watch. Yeah. So that's I, and this one is I I. Yeah, but yeah. you want to remove that line yeah. now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then cross through the bleach of the B and the D and C and all cross through. <laughs> I think I spent so much time on the zoning bylaw. Seriously? <laughs> it's easy. You did a nice job there, Gene. Okay, now if we do that, then we don't have to touch violations. That keeps the violations exactly, exactly. as it is. Great. Yay. I think that, I think that hits exactly what we were looking for. I think we're there. Um, I'd entertain a motion to send this to town council for review. <laughs> you just say, just say so moved. That's good, yeah. <laughs> all, those, all those in favor. Is there any further discussion, I should say? Seeing none, all those in favor. 3 0, the Senate and Town Council for review. We get, we'll then get it back. And if there's alterations, you know, we'll just need to accept them. That's why we're not just accepting this outright. Make it a little easier that way. Um, okay, thank you, Gene, for going through that. Thank you, everybody, for your input. Um, this next one is really probably a pretty quick one. It's just a discussion. Um, we started this last week. Um, Annie brought to our attention that they had uh, the road, um, um, not regulation, excuse me, um, information on the select board website. Everybody felt it probably was best to be on the board of health website um, with that information. So, and you, you did send me those three links. Two of them were um, didn't work anymore. Oh. So I don't know. It was the children's one. Um, that you'd sent, but the other one um, did work. Uh -huh. um, so I think it's just this is a probably something pretty easy. This uh, we're just moving information from the select board site that was up there that uh, to move it to our board. So I don't know. I, I, I'd have to find out why that. Yeah. Why the why the children's uh, information didn't work? Uh, the other one did. Uh, yeah. You got from the came from the CDC. I can try yeah, to open. find it again. Uh, although I had a um, hard drive issue. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> um, let's see, I got it right. Uh, let's see. No, where I went to the wrong place. So it's down from the select boards. Uh, it's not there anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I went to look at it. It's like, oh. <laughs> So I know I, tr I um, what, what we can do is probably the easiest thing to do is just, um, I didn't get a chance to send all the links um, to Laura just because 
um, I, I wanted to find out from you, Andy, if, if what was, you know, maybe we had the wrong link or they just took the information down. Yeah. They may have just taken the information down where it's Children's Hospital has information they probably updated. Yeah. So yeah. we may want to have something. This the third link they said seemed really good, though. Yeah. Uh, it was a, from the CDC directly themselves. That's probably, yeah, that's the, probably. The, the better route to go. So if you want to see um, the link before we put it up on the board, we can, you know, we can put it on the next meeting to, to have up there to, to look at or, or at least put it in the packet so you have a chance to review it, look over the information, and feel comfortable about you know, kind of adopting it as, as information we want the public to have from us. Um, or if you feel comfortable just putting it up there, we can just take a vote right now to say we'll put that one uh, that one link up there was from the CDC. Yeah. It yeah, doesn't, doesn't matter to me, yeah. but I mean, we can put it on the next meeting as well. It'll take all of five seconds to do it then as well, and that way you've had a chance to review it. I think I'm, you guys have been good at getting the message out. Yeah. You know, when you had Laura, Laura in the, uh, in, and Jean and, and the Board of Health at, at um, Parker yep. that night, I think you were pretty clear on most of, covered all these bases. Yeah. So, um, whatever, whatever the board would like to do. Um, um, I'm good. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will, um, I will have Laura send the the link um, that we're talking about right now. But um, I don't think we have to put a take a vote on that. I think we can just agree to put that on the. Um, Port of Health website. So I'll send you the link if you wouldn't mind sending it out to the rest of the board, and then we'll, we'll upload it um, on the website. Mm -hmm. It's basically just moving one of them over that was on the select board's website anyway. Yeah. So it's information that as a town we're consistently been, mm -hmm. we've been giving them that information. Mm -hmm. All right, that brings us to uh, minutes from January 24th, 2019 meeting. We have lengthy discussions about. Mm -hmm. I've already had a chance to look these over. Um, I don't have any changes. Did everybody get a chance to look them over? Yep. Okay. Any comments, questions, changes? No, okay. no. That was Cammy's first set of minutes. So that was Cammy's first set of minutes. Might be one. Yeah. I will then, uh, I'll take a motion to accept the minutes from the January 24, 2019 Board of Health meeting. Okay. I made so, moved. so moved. So <laughs> moved. Or if you really wanted to, you could actually do exactly what I just said. I make a motion to <laughs> make a motion to accept the minutes. minutes. Yeah, from, from January twenty fourth. January twenty fourth, twenty nineteen. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Second. Any further discussion? No. Okay. All in favor? Three zero. Accept the motion to adjourn. So good. <laughs> all in favor? Three zero. Thank you all very much. An hour.